Hey guys, this is video part two of Snow Dim. This is a complete Frank Miller Batman. It's a leather bound edition that came out from Warner Books in 1989 and has the stories Batman Year One, Wanted, Santa Claus Dead or Alive, and The Dark Knight Returns. It was, at that time when it was printed in 1989, everything that Frank Miller had done on the character. And it was his complete collection that gave you a good idea of his feelings on the character, starting with Batman Year One. And Batman Year One was written by Miller, and the art was by David Mazzucchelli. And it details Commissioner Gordon before he was Commissioner Gordon. It details Batman as a young man, uh, right after he had completed all of his training to... Um, try to become Batman to avenge his mother and father and it shows uh, the young Bruce Wayne coming back into Gotham after being away for a while. Mazzucchelli's artwork in this is just a master class on composition and just like Daredevil Born Again it's amazing the level of detail and yet the simplicity of his artwork. He's not a Todd McFarlane, he's not a Jim Lee, but at the same time, his storytelling is, uh, I don't know, I, I would put it up there in the in the top three, up there, uh, to me, uh, the top three would be Jack Kirby, John Romita Jr., and then David Mazzucchelli. So, it details his first couple of times out as Batman, and how he's learning about the ins and the outs. And that's actually Selena Kyle there, Catwoman. So, if you want a really interesting story about the earliest days of Batman, it's a four-parter that came from Batman 404 through 407. And it shows that a young Batman is fallible and can make mistakes. Like I said, it covers four chapters. And once it is finished there, then we move on to Wanted, Santa Claus, Dead or Alive, which was written by Frank Miller and drawn by Steve Mitchell. And it details a hood from Gotham that decides that he is going to dress up like Santa Claus and go into a department store and rob the department store during Christmas time from the inside. But he has a change of heart and his team that he's supposed to be working with double crosses him. So at the end, you see that good triumphs over evil and Batman is standing there with that crook who had decided to turn his life around. Then you have a four-page a four article by Alan Moore talking about the mark that Frank Miller left on Batman and overall just the importance of Batman as a character. So it covers those two pages as well. And then you move into book one of The Dark Knight Returns. And that right there is Frank Miller's magnum opus on the character of Batman. And it details an older Batman, an older Bruce Wayne who is retired from being Batman and no longer polices Gotham City. But something happens with the Joker, and Bruce feels like he has to come out of retirement and he has to protect the citizens of Gotham again. But he finds out very quickly that, you know, at 50, 45 to 50 years old, you know, it's not as easy a task as it was when he was a young man. So you can see the back cave there, and the back cave is, is everything's covered up. He hasn't been there in years. He didn't remind himself, didn't remember about the back cave because he just put it out of sight, out of mind. But the artwork is by Frank Miller with inks by Klaus Jansen, and it's just absolutely amazing the amount of detail and the realism 
that Frank Miller manages to put into this book. And the inks by Jansen just enhance it and cause it to look very gritty. It was one of the first grim and gritty along with Watchmen that, that came out that showed a different side of superheroes, showed a different side of superheroics. You know, he kicks that guy in the spine, you know, kicks him right there, and the cop admonishes him, and he just says, he's young, you'll probably walk again, but you'll stay scared, won't you? So, he has to be rougher and tougher, which brings him up against Superman and brings him up against the government and things like that. Um, but it's just uh, one of the best stories that you could ever read in the superhero medium. And even if you're not interested in superheroes per se, it's a character study for getting older for having different values than you had when you were a young man or a young woman. And it gives you ideas about how to deal with those changes. And what's funny is Frank wrote it and drew it at 29. So he was nowhere near an old man. But the perspectives of older characters and the perspectives of how tired they are and how they have gone through so many changes over the years, he brings a fresh take on those characters. So, just something to look into. And if, I've only seen this book out in the wild once. My brother actually got a copy of it from his girlfriend, now wife, back in 1989. And I tried to talk him out of it when he moved out of the house, but he wasn't interested in letting it go. And so I ran across it in a comic shop in Jackson, Mississippi, probably about four years ago. And even though it's got this noticeable crease from something heavy being put on it for a long time, uh, the guy wasn't really willing to budge off of the 40 bucks just because it's it's rare. They don't I don't know how many of them they made, but... It's a pretty uh, interesting package, and as you can see at the bottom, it even has its own little uh, bookmark ribbon. So if you decide that it's going to take you a couple of days to thumb through this or read it, then you have a bookmark. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I've got one more video to come today. But if you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe, and have a great day.